encouraged other members to integrate the 2030 agenda into their own development strategies and uphold the principle of common but differentiated responsibilities. It said China considers poverty reduction a top priority, and the country succeeded in lifting over 10 million people out of poverty last year. Wang also noted that the Chinese government is pressing ahead with the Belt and Road Initiative to achieve mutual beneficial cooperation. Ahead of the official group meeting, Wang began holding bilateral talks early Thursday. He told his German counterpart Sigmar Gabriel that he hopes key EU member Germany can back China's acceptance as full market economy status. This was supposed to come about in December last year, according to the protocol signed between China and other WTO members. So far, the EU has failed to comply. This was also an issue in his talk with EU foreign policy chief Federica Mogherini. Mogherini said the EU will keep working to solve the problem. Britain's Boris Johnson reaffirmed the UK's willingness to revive what's been called the golden era with China. Wan and Johnson discussed major projects involving bilateral cooperation, including the Hinkley Point nuclear plant. News released from Wan's meeting with his Russian counterpart Sergey Lavrov indicated that both countries will keep coordinating their strategic development plans, namely China's Belt and Road Initiative and Russia's Eurasian Economic Union. As the major power in Northeast Asia, China and Russia will also make fresh efforts to restart talks to solve tensions on the Korean Peninsula. Yang Zhao, CGTN.